uh, strategy, you can create it here. So I'm just keeping it simple. I'm telling that if the customer is, so when I say customer, customer means sold to party. Okay, so I'm say, telling the system, see, we are getting this errors. So sold to party is, I'll enter the value here. So I'm telling the system, if my sold to party is, let's say customer number this, okay, then I want to give him the win priority. Okay, so but if I'm doing this, what I need to do is for each and every customer, I need to come here and I need to add it into the win condition or lose condition. If I don't want to do that, I can even do it based on the delivery priority itself. So just to keep it simple, instead of creating a big combination, I'm keeping it simple. I'm saying the delivery priority one, which means those customers who are having the delivery priority assigned as high in the customer master data, those should be given the first priority. Those customers should be given the win priority. Okay, they will fall under the win category. So like this, I can add whatever number of conditions I want here. Okay, so if I add combination of three conditions, system will perform that combination. And at the time of sales order creation, system will find out the combination and it will be able to know whether this particular combination is falling under the win category or it is falling under the gain and redistribute okay fill or lose so based on this conditions itself system will be able to determine the confirmation strategy okay so first i am creating this conditions then i will tell the system that under which category this condition will fall so my first thing is I will create my conditions here. Okay, I'm not creating now. I'm just showing you. So you will be creating your conditions here. And then you can see here, even there is a prioritizer, which means what priority should be given if there are multiple sales orders which are fitting in the same condition. So let's say there are three customers who are falling under win. Okay, or there are three customer orders. Okay, there are three customers who are given three different sales orders. Now, which customer should be given the first priority? Which sales order should be given the first priority? So that depends upon this fields. So here you can tell, okay, the priority will be normally by default. It would be based on the record was created. So it will be based on who has given the first sales order. Because all these customers are fall under win. So definitely we cannot segregate them. Okay, we cannot say that within win customers also, I want to give the priority to this customer. If you want, you can do that. But normally what we do is first come first serve in that case. If all the customers are in the win condition, then I can definitely confirm the quantity based on the date on which I received the order. Right, so that particular conditions, you can add it here and you can uh, enter the priority here. Once your BOP segment is created, so you'll be creating three segments here or five segments here. One for win, one for gain, one for redistribute, one for fill and one for lose. Okay, again, it is not necessary to create all the five. If you want only two, that is also fine. But I'm just telling you, as the functionality is provided, you can create up to five different strategies here, the segments here. And once these segments are created, you'll be using these segments in something called as configure BOP variant. Okay, these two are related to config. These are not required by us. If you go to configure BOP variant, this is where you will be telling the system. Okay, let me show you by creating a new. So what you will be doing here is, let's say I'm creating a variant. This is for test RECH. Okay, and this variant is again for whether the sales document or the stock transfer orders or the mixed that you can specify. This is all by default settings. Okay, and here you can enter the segment name. You can see by default it is showing you redistribute. So here you will be able to see all the file. Add to win, add to gain, add to redistribute, add to fill, add to lose. If I want to add a strategy that I created, BOP segment to win. So I can come here and I can enter that segment here. You can see these are all the segments which you can create in the last step. 
So as I told you, in the BOP segment, I'll be creating one for win, one for gain, one for redistribute, one for fill, and one for lose. So I can tell the system that in this configuration, in this particular setup, in this particular activity, I will tell the system which combination will fit it in win, which combination will fit it in redistribute, which combination will fit in gain, fill, and lose. And based on this, whenever I'll be executing the BOP, Okay, so again, for executing the BOP, you can use Fiori itself. Schedule the BOP run. Schedule the backorder processing run. When you execute this scheduling the backorder processing run, system will, what system will do? System will perform the backorder processing same way as we have seen yesterday. But yesterday, it was only based on delivery priority. The only benefit of this Hello. Hello. I think we are lost. Mm. Order processing as a background job. And what you need to tell is you need to tell which variant you want to use. So the variant that we created in our last day. You have to Hello. specify the variant. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you were uh, inaudible for uh, one or two minutes. Is it OK now? Yeah. So we missed what you just uh, uh, said on back order processing oh, screen. OK, back order processing screen. Which one you are saying? Variant, variant screen. Yeah, this one. This one? No, no, no. BOP schedule run. Schedule BOP run, yeah, from there. So I'm saying schedule BOP run is a actual execution. So yesterday, if you remember, we, we used two transactions, one for manual BOP run and second for rescheduling. So same way, instead of using that, if you are using advanced ATP, you will not be executing those transactions. You will be executing this transaction. So you'll be coming to this schedule BOP run. Here you'll be entering the, uh, you'll be entering their details. So you'll be entering the variant name and when exactly you want to execute. So variant that we created in our last step, where we told the system that what are the different variants you have. So what is there in the win situation, redistribute situation. Once you enter all those variants, you can come here and you can select that variant and you can execute. Now, once you schedule, once you execute, system will perform the BOP run and it will confirm the quantities based on the confirmation strategy. Uh, okay, let this, me try. Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. The scheduling can't be done from S4 Rana itself. We have to always use the Fiori itself. No, this new advanced ATP, this this works only on Fiori. No, there is no corresponding. What I meant is setting up is okay, but processing, a scheduling, I mean to say scheduling. This is one time activity. Scheduling normally, BOP run, you normally keep it on day to day basis. Mm -hmm. Okay, you should so, once and leave it. Okay. Yeah, see, going forward, everything is going to be Fiori. Even the customers who are implementing SAP, uh, maybe now, because till now, although Fiori was not that much used, but going forward in another one or two years, everything is going to be Fiori only. Okay. Uh, why is this? Like, as you mentioned here, when we were, mm -hmm. when we tried to schedule something, I mean, for just to test or something, can we do it in S4 or not? Uh, no, 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 we, we can't do it because even if you are not able to do the last step, then you will not. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Able to execute um, this step also, even if it is available in the transaction. Okay. But let me try. This is a technical error, but I can try to resolve it. We, yeah, just give me a minute. If I'm able to solve this, it would be very easy because I completed this topic last time, but then mm -hmm. someone has made some changes. So even I'm going to provide you the video of my last session that I took in which it was working fine. So let's say this is RECH and within RECH I'm creating this strategy for win. 
Okay, sales order is fine. Uh, attribute, let's assume I'm just taking one or two attributes. I'm just selecting delivery priority. So based on, see, this is the error which is uh, causing the issue. This is a Fiori error. I saw this last time also, but now again it is causing this issue. Let's see if I'm able to solve it. This is some see this is fiori related so o data administration general settings let me try this i don't know why people delete this again and again i tried this two three times earlier also so nate weaver gateway o data channel administration general settings define virus scan profile oh, which one i should use here This one as a SD consultant, you don't need to worry. If you are facing this kind of issue in the system, it is your responsibility to solve it. No, I should not touch this because this has some other implications. So I should ask Fiori to do it. So anyways, what I told you now, you just need to understand the concepts the for the in-depth uh, understanding. I will be sharing the video with you. I already completed this topic very clearly in my next batch. So I'll be sharing that video. If you are facing any issues in that video, then you can definitely contact me. And in the meantime, I'll also ask Fiori consultants to check this issue. If they're able to solve, at least you'll be able to practice one cycle in this system. Okay. But normally, this is something which is not part of your standard uh, certification or as a beginner, nobody's going to ask you this. This is a very advanced topic. But if you know this, then definitely this would be one of the benefit. Whenever you are uh, appearing in the interviews, you can tell that even we know the advanced topics in S4HAN. Okay, any questions on the understanding? You got the point. Mm -hmm. See, I will just tell you what are the different steps. Number one is when you execute the BOP. So back order processing or BOP in Fiori. What are the different steps? You just need to remember this step. Number one is configure BOP segment. Second is 